sometimes it's our everyday life that is our challenge. You know, we aren't true to ourselves. We call it false pride. False pride, knowing that we've went through behavior and habits and we now are at a situation where it would take a lot of energy to change the behavior or the habit, but it never really gave us happiness or peace within our own journey. Um, classic example is going to a job for a J-O-B, and it's not really peaceful, but you're doing it because it pays the check and it feeds the family, but it's how many years? And so over time, it can work on the happiness and phys the physical body can start deteriorating because of that lack of energy and excitement to all of the organs. Um, false pride is linked with the circulation. High blood pressure, classic, because there's a constriction in the vessels. And you know when you get up in the morning and you have to go to a career that you just do not want to go to, but your thinker takes you to, your subconscious says this isn't good. So now you are in this stiff fight or flight situation, but you're doing it. So, um, wow, does it change lives. A little neuroemotional technique, a little balancing. It didn't say it changed your career. It just means that it gives you the ability to find peace in your journey and then the sky's the limit. You can choose to change it and you can choose to have peace with it. But the, the true answer to that is, is that you can find peace in whatever your situation is at the present time. And um, thus comes happiness and positive energy. And positive energy brings on all kinds of positive things in your surroundings. So it opens the door for a lot of happiness.